Connie, and I'm about to have supper, so I thought, why not bring you with me? I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today anyway. I've got, you know, just a few things to talk to you about. So I am just about to have a half of a bacon and onion and mayonnaise sandwich. Um, I don't, it would be a BLT, but I, I don't have any lettuce, and I'm not crazy about tomatoes. So it is a B, how about a BMO, BOM, BMO? <laughs> and then I've got some potato chips too, because I like to have potato chips with my bacon sandwiches. So here we go. Let's have the first bite. My bacon is really done, but that's the way I like it. And it is almost 10 o'clock, so I'm ready for bed. I had a job interview today at our local college, it's a private college, and they have a, like a nursing program, they have a lot of sports programs there, health programs, st stuff like that. So they were in need of a salad prep person, and today what they told me that would include would be getting the veggies and all the salads ready for the salad bar that they have for lunches. I would be cross-trained on the grill and the cash register, stuff like that too. I don't think it went real well. They asked me, I need to find out what I'm supposed to say in this situation. They asked me, Take a little bite. They asked me what, why each of my jobs looked like it, it was pretty short term. Which they are. Talking to a counselor. I haven't gone to the psychologist or anything yet. That's something else I need to talk to you about. But talking to my coordinator. And she's an RN. And we've been talking a lot. I have realized. Which I never realized before. I don't know why. But my depression, I believe, and I don't want to put the blame on just that either, but I think that that is why I can't hold a job. It, my attitude changes. I'm mad all the time. I'm sad all the time. I can't hold a job and it is, you know, people don't want to hire somebody that works a few months, you know, has two to three jobs a year. Nobody wants to hire somebody like that and I don't blame them. Um, I don't know. Um, anyway, they asked me that and I told them that I was under doctor's care. And, you know, they sound interested, but they, they always sound interested. Um, they have one more interview on Monday, he thought, and then they will make a decision and they will let me know one way or the other, which is awesome. I do like that. Even if I don't get the job, at least I'll hear something. 
Um, that job sounds okay, except for the only thing that bothers me about that job is I'd be on my feet for so long. Because I'd work from 7 until 3.30. And except for breaks, I'd be on my feet. Which, if I'm doing something and I'm busy, like working at the bar, it really didn't bother me to be on my feet for, you know, a couple hours at a time. It, I think I'd be okay. So, anyway, that was my day today. Now, I have got appointments. Um, the lady at Vocational Rehab, they she is the one that's she. I haven't really worked with her yet. I haven't even been, a, you know, um, offered a position in the in the program. But she, they help people with disabilities get jobs that fit them. And so she set me up an appointment, two appointments actually with a psychologist. The first one is for two hours. And then the second one is um, at least two hours longer if it takes longer. So they are testing me to see if I have, if I'm bipolar, if I'm this or if I'm, if I'm that. They're testing me to see what um, categories I'm in, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I have two appointments there. Then my coordinator that I was telling you about, let's take another bite here, I'm wasting time. The coordinator that I was telling you about, she, uh, enrolled me in a program that would normally cost $1,600 and they're doing it for, because yeah, I'm not, like, it's almost like one of those guinea pig programs. I, I don't understand quite what it means, but it's, they drew my blood, then they, it takes a month to get the, the stuff back on it. And, uh, darn it, my nose is just itching like crazy. Takes a month to get the information back on it. Um, it will, it tells them how fast my body metabolizes stuff. I wish I could think of what this was called. It's like a trial. That's what it is. It's like a trial. Um, they're running a trial on this process. So anyway, they took my blood, and it'll take a month for that. So I've got an appointment in a month. And then they give me the... the um, the results of that and then they I think I believe they draw more blood and then I have to wait a few weeks and then they draw more blood and so you know so on and so forth to see how much um, what I'm doing there anyway metabolizing um, how fast my bo my body metabolizes this med that I'm on I think so anyway, another thing, if any of you are interested, I am going to be doing a um, project pan roulette. And to explain that, it's a little hard. I'm sure you, you guys um, Google, or not Google it, but go to um, YouTube and put project pan roulette in intro. And then it should tell you all about it. But what it is, is... You, I'm going to do this for a whole year. I'm going to start November 1st. That's my birthday, so I'm, that's when I'm going to start it. Um, you cut up. I've got a hundred um, ideas. Like, okay, like one of the ideas is um, 
um, um, an eyeshadow palette or a blush palette or, uh, you know, this is what would be on the piece of paper. Uh, your newest item of makeup or your oldest item of makeup, um, skin care product, uh, shower gel, shampoo, stuff like that. So you cut those pieces up and you put them in a box or in a dish or whatever, you know, and you kind of shuffle them around a little bit. And then you choose, I'm going to choose 25, I believe. I'm not sure how many I'm going to choose. And then when I choose those 25, then I will go choose my items that correspond with each of those little slips. And then come back and I will show everybody what I chose. And my goal is to use those items up in that year. And if I can't, then I'll start over the next year. But it is to, and I will do a monthly check-in. Each month we'll, wait, we'll make a video and say, hey, this is where I'm at on these items. So if you are interested in doing this with me, let me know. Um, I would ap appreciate maybe getting, if if you have Facebook, I am, I am me on Facebook. I will make sure that if I don't follow you on Facebook that you, um, that I keep checking my other folder. So that either do that or email me. All that information is down below. And if you email me, make sure you put in the, the subject line, Project Pan Roulette, though, so I know what it is so I don't delete you right away because I delete a lot of junk mail. So anyway, that would be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the more people in it, the, the more fun it's going to be. It's going to be almost like a collab. So each one of us will... Um, We'll start on November 2nd. We'll each put up our video on November 2nd. And then we will put up our um, update video the same time every year. Probably the last day of the month every year. Every year. Every month. Okay, dang it. Losing my onions. And my bacon. I had this here and I moved it. So anyway, it sounds like fun, doesn't it? I hope some of you are watching. I'd love for you to join me. I know there's only a couple of weeks left, so I make I'll make sure I get this video up as soon as possible. But I think that really sounds like fun. Plus, it's a way to use up your makeup or your stuff that's been sitting around that you have been wanting to use up but you haven't I have a lot of makeup and I never ever hit pan on anything so this is a way to use up my makeup you know because makeup does expire and this way maybe I'll, I'll be able to keep to my very low buy I can't afford anything now because I'm without a work out without a job but um, you know, I'm getting unemployment, so I, I want to be on a very low buy or even a no buy. Probably not a no buy because I'm very hard at keeping, keeping that promise, but. That is so good. All this bacon is, is you put it in the microwave 
it's that kind. It's not regular bacon that you fry. And this is really good bacon. I do buy the other kind too, but this here is just fast and easy for a sandwich. That's all I wanted it for. And then I just use half of it for half a sandwich. That's all I wanted was half a sandwich. And then tomorrow, maybe I'll have the other half. I've already had a couple comments on my, my first mukbang video that they liked it. But I've already had a thumbs down too. There's always some freaking idiot that does that. I swear, YouTube should have, if you're going to post a thumbs down, you should have to say why you're doing giving a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just to be an asshole or you have a legitimate reason, which I really doubt this person has. <coughs> They're just being stupid. But, you know, has, like they say, even a thumbs down is a view. And a view is a view. Bacon makes everything better, doesn't it? watched out my window. I live right off of Main Street. Watched out my window tonight and two different times within like 10 minutes cops went by with their lights going and pulled somebody over. People must be in an awful big hurry tonight or something. Because that does not happen real well. Two years ago I sat here it was like 3 o'clock in the morning on a weekend and it had snowed a lot and this whole block was full of cars sitting and they towed every single one of them. I just thought that was hilarious. First snow hits, I park in the back. I park in the, on the street during the summer because it's closer but in the winter I always park in the back and we have a little parking lot back there for me and my neighbor. So tell me, <clears throat> would you guys be interested in doing this kind of video or, or, um, you, you like watching this kind of video? That's the first one you've ever seen or I don't know. Not that I support her, not at all. No idea how she's gotten over 20,000 view pe or subs. Because people hate her so much. Crazy. My poor sandwich is falling apart. I don't know what else to talk about. Anybody watching Dancing with the Stars? A couple years ago, I started watching 
a show called the uh, of course um if you know who the roll-offs are um little people big world maybe is that the name of it started watching that very interesting my kids live in portland my son and his family and this is where they're from the roll-offs they uh have a huge farm and and they're all little people except for three of their kids are are big like our size and and one is a little person and both parents are little people and then after that was the little couple we watched that And it's just um, a husband and wife, and then they adopted two children. One from Korea, I think, and one from India that are both little people. Very cute kids. And then I started watching Little Women. There's like three of those now. There's one, there's L.A., then there's Atlanta, which I hate. I don't watch that one at all. And there's going to be a new one that is Texas. But anyway, long story short, Tara is on Little Women L.A. And she is dancing on Dancing with the Stars. She had a baby. She's This is her second child. She had a baby, and three weeks later, she was starting to practice for Dancing with the Stars. I don't know how she did it. She was a Syrian. And then in three weeks, she was up and about enough to... Usually, you can't do anything for six weeks. She's doing so well. She got um, like one eight, I believe, and two nines this week I mean for for being you know she has those little short legs and the little short arms and that was I mean she's with a guy that isn't real tall he's got to be five six five seven is all he's not real tall but he said the hardest thing was her hands are so tiny so when he would go to grab her hand, he would actually have to grab her wrist because he couldn't hold on to her otherwise. So she's doing really well. And that's a whole... I don't watch that show half the time anymore because it's kind of stupid. But it's it's very interesting this year. Besides... Maureen McCormick, Marsha on the Brady Bunch is on there too. I swear she looks 20 years older than I do. Her neck. She's very wrinkly. I don't know if it was the drugs or <laughs> what. Or her genes. Her DNA. I don't know. And uh, Mary Lou Henner from Taxi is on there. What's his face? The swimmer that got in trouble. Can't think of his name right now. Race car driver. Sorry, my nose is going nuts. It happens when I eat. It happens when I put makeup on. I just think I'm so allergic to everything. Last bite, guys. I need to talk to my doctor about that. And tell him that every time I 
sit down and put makeup on, my nose starts running. Every time I sit to eat, my nose starts running. And you haven't seen this, but after I'm done eating, in about a half an hour, I'll have a sneezing fit for about 10 minutes. And I mean, I'll probably sneeze 20 times. So, done eating. That was my supper for the night. And I will see you very soon. I'm still going to do my deals I was talking to you about yesterday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.